Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Mark and today I'll show you how to get started with automation anywhere. First we will install the bot agent and then I will give you a short overview about the control room. So let's get started. On screen now you can see the home page to get the community edition for free. I will put this link in the description so you can visit this one from there. So as I said this is totally for free so just put your Put your first name, last name, business email and the other required fields and you will get an email link where you can access your control room. So let's jump into my control room. So I'm logged in into the control room right now and on the left side we will see some let's say links and actions and down in the left corner we will find the exclamation mark you will see here. So when we click on this, so we get the notice that our local device is not connected to the control room. So let's connect this one. So just click connect local device. Then we are getting this pop-up where we just click connect to my computer. And now the bot agents will be downloaded to our computer, which you will find in your standard downloads folder. So in my case it is here, so just double click on the bot agent so that we can install the bot agent on our machine. Oh, this took a bit to get loaded. So, once the installer is open up completely, you will get these, uh, let's say, setup type, and you can choose what where you want to install. And the let's say all users system level recommended or only for you. So we use the all users, but for this one, you need administrator privileges to install. So I will pick this one. Let's click install. So the installer is finished now and we can close the pop-up here, just click finish. Then we go back to our browser and we will get directly a notification that the automation 360 is added to the extensions to Chrome. So this we also need to click to enable extension because this is necessary. So then we get all the check marks, which is which are fine. Just click done, and then we can directly see that our machine. So in my case, my HP notebook is now connected. And to verify that this is that this is uh, installed successfully, we can go to on the left here to manage, click on devices, and then we can verify. So yeah, it's connected. So seems to be fine. So now we can test if everything works well. So we go to automation here on the left. Then we get the, our folders. So in this case, you want to create a new folder. So just click on the create subfolder button here. Let's give it a new name like YouTube create folder. So then we're on the YouTube folder and on the right we have this little plus sign to create a new bot. So let's click on this one and then we can choose task bot for our process. So we click task bot now, give it a name, for instance, let's do test and we create and edit. And then we will get the, let's say, the workbench for the bot actions and um, the canvas, let's say. So let's 
close this upgrade message. So on the left side, we have some, let's say, controls we can use. So we have here the bot name. We can also edit this one with this little 10 over here. We have some variables. When we click on this one. So we have two variables, let's say, automatically, let's say, predefined when you open a new bot. Then we have here the actions. And all the way down on the left corner, we have the triggers. So, but now let's start with the actions. So we can just search for the actions, which we see here in this text box. Or we can, let's say, explore the actions in the drop down, or let's say in the list. It's not a drop down, but it's a list. So, but for now, we start with the test. We can just type message. Then we get the action which is called message box to check if our bot is working and if our, everything is installed fine on our machine. So we can just drag and drop this on the left into the canvas in the middle here. So it's like drag and drop. So this is then it's added to the canvas and on the right. We have all the, let's say, settings we can do. So here we have the text field where we can enter a message to display. So in this text box. So here we can just type some text like test. And on the right corner, we have the save button. Just click save now. So, and now we can, let's say, run our it's bot, let's say. so. But it's not really a bot, it's just a message box to, that should be pop up and show that the bot agent is installed successfully and the extension. So we can just click the play button on here where it shows the run. Just click on this one. And then the bot agent should open the message box for us. So let's see if this is installed successfully. First time you run the bot, it maybe took took a bit because you need to download some dependencies as you see on the screen right now. So, but no worries, just wait a second. So, yeah, perfect. You will see we have the message box, which we type in the text test, and this is shown up correctly. So, we close this one, and we successfully run our first, uh, let's say, step inside our bot. Perfect. So. Another note here, um, when you can't, let's say, when, you, when the bot run is failing for some reason, you can also check again when you go to your um, manage devices. Maybe you need to provide the credentials for your machine. So in my case, I didn't have because I'm the administrator and I don't use any passwords on my machine. So, But maybe you need to add these ones so you can go on the devices pane on the three dots over on the right so then you can click the this sign the view device maybe you can then check if you need to set some credentials here so you can check all the options so maybe this is the case why you can't run a bot in your machine just uh, uh, to test and see if there is needed some credentials from your side to be passed in to the bot agent. Okay, so perfect. That's it for today. So if you like my video, I would appreciate if you give my video a like, a comment and a subscription as well for sure. And on the next video, I will show you how we can automate our first process with Automation Anywhere to log in to this website, let's say. So the bot will put the email address put in the password and then we can click the sign in button. But this I will show you on the next video. So thanks for watching and have a good time. Bye.